Welcome everybody to How Fast Will It Go and today we're dealing with the 2018 Lamborghini Huracan Performante. Now this has 1,515 horsepower, 1,101 pounds speed of torque from a 7 litre twin turbocharged V12 engine. The car itself now weighs 2,979 pounds, still has its all wheel drive system and it can now do 0 to 60 in 2.057 seconds and 0 to 103.818 seconds. Now, we had the Huracan STO in the previous episode. Now, because that was a little bit disappointing as it only managed 270 miles an hour, I figured we'd try out its older brother. And uh, yeah, this Performante, although it's got the same power from the same engine as uh, the STO, it does have one advantage, and that is the fact it weighs less, at 195 pounds less than the STO. So, it's got the same power, but with less weight to pull around it should hopefully uh, be a little bit better at the top end so uh, yeah let's get out there and see what it can do so it's also still a cracking handling car and yeah as you can see it's pretty quick already Whoa. bouncing over that hump though like a Bouncy ball, quite frankly, I don't know why it bounced so hard there, but it's very rare that we've seen that before. But still, we're up to 250 now. That's 260. So, like I said, the previous uh, Hurricane managed 270, which we have matched. It would have if we hadn't been concentrating so much on the speedometer and realised that there was a corner coming up. Yeah, let's match it again. There we go, and we've now exceeded that with 271 miles an hour. Is there any extra out of this? <laughs> Come on, we've got less weight. Should be able to use that power a little bit better. Granted, it does have that rear wing on it. There's 272, 273, 274. Now this is being gained by going down this hill, downhill section. So yeah, we'll scrub off some of that speed, but it's all about whether or not we can hold it after the fact. Come on. There's 272. Yeah, 272 miles an hour, I'm going to call that. So uh, yeah, that's only slightly faster than the STO, but it is faster regardless. By 2 miles an hour. Which, uh, yeah, just goes to show that the lack of weight in this car. I'm not sure why the STO weighs so much, but... Yeah, it does unfortunately weigh more than this, and that is why this one has uh, proved to be the quicker of the two. So, uh, yeah, that's also quicker than the Nissan GTR Nismo. The Audi RS7 Sportback manages to match fellow Lamborghini uh, from the, uh, with the Aventador SVJ, as well as matching the Jaguar XJ220 STWR, the Formula Drift Dodd Viper, and it's only one mile an hour or so behind the likes of the Mercedes AMG One, Maserati MC12 Versione Corsa and the TVR Serpra Speed 12 but still far from the fastest Lamborghini that we've had on the series with the Diablo GTR being the fastest at 287 miles an hour so still some way behind that car but we've definitely closed the gap a little bit more over the STO did so yeah and at the end of the day it still was able to handle the extra power and uh, yeah really good handling really good um, nippy uh, Ag agility on in the go and uh, yeah was getting up to the speed really rather quite quickly as well and uh, yeah able to maintain that speed as well crucially despite the traffic so uh, yeah on the whole a really rather good car it is a bit surprising that the older car is the faster of the two but like I said that's purely down to the fact that this weighs less anyway thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye